What's up, Internet? It is time for another Battle Box Breakdown. I got Mission 66 in front of me. It's August 2020. We're getting into the heat of the summer, y'all. I know, because I'm going to be sweating here before too long, I'm pretty sure. We got the AC turned off because it gets too loud in here. The microphones don't like it. And if you wear headphones when watching the video, you're definitely not going to like it. So if I sweat a little bit, just understand I'm fat, I'm old, and I got a beard. <laughs> Yeehaw. Let's get into the box. How's that right there? Does that look good? All right. So first up, we got the Battle Box Mission Booklet right here. I don't know what I want to call this yet. Of course, we changed it from the mission card to kind of a little booklet, a pamphlet, if you will. So how about down in the comments, y'all let me know what you want me to call this booklet right here. Come up with something good, right? You know, some people said the Battle Booklet, the Battle Brochure. I don't know. Comment down below and watch next month and see what I use. Yeehaw. As we open up the booklet here, we've got little right up there, mission 66. If this mission had a theme, we don't do themes anymore, but if it did, I would kind of call this the uh, get you out of a pinch mission. So you flip it open, you've got your basic box, your advanced, your pro, continue to flip, you got your pro plus. So instead of on a card now, you can actually look at the item and read specifically about that item if you would like to, yeehaw. Then we've got the uh, Southern Survival poster there. If you haven't watched it yet on Netflix, I encourage you to do so. Yeehaw. And then on the back, we've got win a free t-shirt. As you can see, I got on a pretty freaking cool t-shirt right now. The show's been out for a little over a month now, I guess right out of month as I'm filming this video. And uh, we've got some new swag in the shop, all sorts of different Southern Survival t-shirts, Battle Box t-shirts. Go check it out in the shop and get you one. You can also maybe win one. I'll talk about how at the end of the video. Y'all stick around, y'all. So first up in the basic box of problem solvers, we've got a spice wallet. What's a spice wallet? I'm fixing to show it to you. It's from Lord and Field. This little doohickey right here is the mamma jamma of spice wallets. <laughs> Trust me, I'm fixing to show you. Genuine leather with brass fixtures and snaps. Got a really nice brass clip or clasp right here with a lanyard. Lord and Field here on the back. This is actually a belt loop. You can run your belt through there if you like. You don't have to like take your belt off or your pants off to put this thing on and off. It's got snaps right there. Yeah, you, know, you can just snap that off, put it on your belt, and you'll be the coolest looking rascal in the freaking woods. <laughs> I'm gonna bust it open, and as you can see, we've got four corked vials right here so that uh, you can keep some spices with you when you're out in the woods doing old bushcraft thing or just camping or whatever you want. I mean, I don't know about you, but I cannot stand eating bland food. I've got to have some spices with me. All right, so let me show you mine. Got it down here in the mystery spot. Just so you can see, see what we're working with here. So this here is my spice wallet. I take this with me into restaurants, FYI. <laughs> Especially now with the Rona. There are some places you go, they don't have condiments around. Like you, they give you little packets of ketchup and little packets of salt and pepper. No, I don't play that. This guy needs spices. Some salt right there. So I can put some salt in my vittles. Some black pepper. Got to have your black pepper go with your salt. I got me a little kick in here. Some red pepper, some cayenne, kind of all mixed in together right there. And then here, I got some garlic powder. I'm telling you, man, you put a little garlic powder in pretty much anything, it makes it jam up. I promise you. No more being in camp eating bland food, eating some like backpacker type meals that really aren't that good. Add a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, put a little heat in it, and it's yeehaw all day long. But you can use this for something other than a spice wallet if you want to. I'm gonna put another challenge in there for you guys. What would you guys use a little kit like this for? I don't know, you might could rig up some sort of fire kit out of it. You might could put some, some tinder in one, some fatwood shavings, little screws and nuts and bolts and things like that. Fishing kit, if you got to keep medication on you, you maybe can put some different types of medications in there so you got medication on you. The sky's the limit. Why don't you tell me down in the comments what you would use this spice wallet for if you didn't want to use it for spices. I like using it for spices. This guy's got to have his salt. I put salt on country ham. Fight me. Don't fight me. I, don't, I will fight you over some salt though. It doesn't come with stuff in it. It comes like this right here. The second item in the basic box is from Colby Valve. So when you're prepping, you also got to think about your vehicles or 
whatever type of transportation you may have. It may be four-wheeler, it may be a side-by-side, -side, maybe a golf cart, souped-up bicycle, motorcycle, I don't know. But you gotta think about these things. If you have to bug out, you're gonna have to rely on a vehicle. Possibilities there that you might need to go off-road. I'm just saying, I enjoy going off-road. It's about all I did when I was a teenager. Play in the mud, go off-road, climb hills, hit mud holes, take on a power line, whatever. Colby valve is a better tire valve or valve stem, some people call it, for your tires. Um, if you have to go off-road and you're in some pretty gnarly stuff, sometimes your weakest link is your valve stems. What does a Colby valve do? I got one unpackaged that I'll show you in the mystery spot. So this rascal right here is designed so that if you bust your valve stem off, you can replace your valve stem. You never have to take your tire and wheel off your vehicle. Don't have to do it. All you do is push what's broke off left down into your tire, into your wheel. Take this bad boy right here and you can put this down into where the, uh, the hole is for your, your valve stem. While you're screwing it, it's going to expand this black piece right here. It's going to expand out on the inside of the wheel and create a seal between this lip and the lip that it's going to create as this expands. Now that's sticking out from here up out of your wheel and you can pressurize your tire. It's already got the, the um, Schrader valve in there already and you're good to go. So this one right here is called their emergency tire valve. So they actually have different types of valves. They have permanent ones that you can install, um, which I think is a good idea. If you're gonna have a vehicle that you could potentially go off-road with, obviously four-wheelers, things like that, trucks, SUVs, you can replace all your valve stems with their permanent solution, which has a nut on the end that you tighten down and it's a permanent deal and it's stronger than a factory valve stem. It's gonna take the beating, it's gonna take hits and bumps and all that stuff. You ain't gotta worry about breaking that. This one is your emergency designed one. Once you get out, get to where you can get a proper valve stem put back in, you take this off, you're good to go. Put your new um, valve stem in your wheel and you're back in business. And it's got a valve cover aluminum valve cover goes along with it. So the next item in the basic box, the third item, is something that I freaking love. I've been using this product ever since we got a sample in test out. Amazing, and I'm so freaking stoked that it's in the box so you guys can use these things, okay? It's called the Simple Strap. I'm telling you folks, you're gonna fall in love with, with this product right here. I, I know I have, I've used it for all sorts of, of different things. But this right here is an alternative for like regular tie downs, using rope, ratchet straps, and things like that. Ratchet straps can be a pain in the freaking butt. Now there's things that this cannot do that you need a ratchet strap for. I'm not saying you use this to strap down a tractor on a, on a trailer or to strap a four wheeler down or something like that. And although it probably could do that, but of course in certain situations you need a ratchet strap. But in a lot of situations, I'm sure you know, you need to tie something down and a ratchet strap's just too much, they're too aggravating to deal with, there's, there's too much excess that you gotta tie up. I know I've dealt with it if I just wanna strap down a few um, pieces of lumber in the back of my truck. I mean, I just got way too much excess with the ratchet strap. Maybe I can't get it tight enough, maybe it gets loose after a while. Tons of issues. This right here solves all that. So I've used this for several things. I've used it for strapping down lumber in the back of my truck, strapping down fencing supplies on my trailer. I actually used this stuff uh, several months ago. I had to go back to North Carolina and pick up some stuff that my dad had in a storage trailer and haul it back in, a, in my trailer. I strapped everything down with simple straps and they didn't move one freaking inch the whole trip back from North Carolina. The 20 foot length right here. Cool thing is, you just cut off what you need and you're good to go. So you don't have to deal with freaking, you, you only need a foot, two foot of it, you ain't gotta do something with the other 17, 18 foot. You simply cut it. Just like that. You would not believe what I would be able to do with this, what, 18, 19 inch piece of simple strap. So you can see it's very stretchy, okay? What's also cool about it is is when it's bound onto itself. So if I was wrapping this around a pipe, I just wanna go around one time. It only takes one time, it's not going to come off. 
because the rubber that this is made out of, it actually binds to itself when it's under pressure and tension. I'm telling you, it really only takes one wrap. You would not believe how well this stuff works. I've strapped my Deamer box down to the front of my four-wheeler and just one wrap, and I've jumped it. I've gone down dirt roads, through ditches, through whatever. It, it doesn't move. The thing works great. So you just cut off what you need, wrap it around what you're attaching it to, or your whatever it is, a pipe, whatever. Wrap it around one time. Now you can wrap this around your material and then come back to itself. All you got to do to tie this off, no knots, nothing. When you got it wrapped around, you just tuck it under itself one time and it's not coming out. It's not coming out. You want to take it off, you just grab that tag in, pull it off, it all bounces off and you're good to go. Then works wet, works dry, works hot, works cold, works dirty, muddy, sand, it does not matter. This stuff freaking works. It's amazing. And I cannot wait to hear what you guys think about this stuff when you start using it. So that's simple strap. So you might get several different, there's several different colors out there. You may get a few different, um, people might get different colors, think red, yellow, black. Um, like here's a, here's a red one. They also make these in a heavy duty size. It's just a little bit wider and a little bit thicker. Um, brake strength's a little higher. But if you're interested in it and you want to get some heavy duty ones, you can do that. Yeehaw. You could probably use this as a tourniquet if you absolutely had to. I mean, who knows, man? Great stuff. Do some tug of war at your family reunion. You yeah. Think? God, don't let go. I'm not letting go. You don't let go. Please, God, don't let go. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I mean, this stuff's freaking amazing. Let's see if it's flammable. Curious. Emergency fire source right there. I wouldn't recommend doing that to your simple strap. It's supposed to be to strap stuff down simple, but if you needed to start a fire, you might cut this up in a bunch of little small pieces and help you start a fire. You Just saying. Building like a raft out of that. Multi-use. I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff with this, man. Strap down kayaks, strap down fishing poles in a boat. You know, one thing that used to be aggravating to me when I was a mechanic was like I'd have some square stock steel that we had to build some rigging with or something, and we'd have round stock, and you putting it together so you got round sitting on square and it, you just could never get it tight enough. It would shift, it would move around. Not with this. You strap freaking pipe onto you know, a two before, strap it with this, and that pipe's not moving. I mean, it, it's amazing stuff. It's freaking awesome. So, you're gonna love that, I'm just saying. Simple strap's the way to go, I'm telling you. I'd buy freaking hundreds of them and just have them all over the place. It's freaking awesome. So last up in the basic box is a freebie. All right, so uh, we sent a product out, a little fire kit out that had one of these in it. We, we think it's really cool. It's something that we've been keeping in our pockets. And uh, we've got a lot of new subscribers now since the show come out and a lot of new fans with Southern Survival on Netflix. So we thought it'd be cool to put this in as a freebie for the new folks because it freaking works and it's a great little fire starter. So we've got this Southern Survival fire starter right here. The reason why I really like it is it, it fits right down inside my, I actually got mine with me. It fits down right in my watch pocket of my, of my blue jeans. And literally don't, don't remember it being there until I actually think about it like I just did. So here's mine, you know, high vis color. In case you drop it, you'll be able to find it. It's got the Southern Survival logo on there. You got your uh, ferro rod here on the bottom, your striker. You feel your striker, there's a smooth side, and then there's a, a side that's got a little lip on it. That's the side you want to use up against your, your steel here. And it's just a great little fire starter that you can always have on you. And it's got a 120 decibel freaking whistle in that rascal too. You ready? <whistles> Common sense. That's loud in his shop right here. So if you need to be heard, you can be heard. So this is a freebie. Um, that we really enjoy keeping in our pockets. Always have a fire starter with you, yeehaw. I'm gonna put mine back in my pocket.
So now it's time for the advanced box. And advanced box this month, we're continuing on with kind of some problem solving right here. This thing is really cool. So it's the Tactica M250. Comes in a nice box right here. You ain't even got to open the sides. You just flip the old lid right there on there. <laughs> so what is the Tactica M250? The Tactica M250 is a really cool EDC item. It's kind of a toolbox in your hands. We've been testing these out for quite some time. They're really durable, and it's just a really cool kit to have with you. So it's a bit kit, bit kit. It's got a pocket clip on here if you want to put it on the pocket clip or strap it onto a pack or something like that. And it has a rare earth magnet. It's a really strong magnet. Hook this to the side of a toolbox or something you know, for a quick grab so you don't have to go through all your tools. Anything metal this thing will hook to, hook to, it'll stick to. Ma magnetized to. It likes metal. <laughs> so what you do is, you gotta look at it the right way because the way this thing's designed, you push that rascal out just like that. And you can put that little holster aside. So what we've got here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Six, two rows equals 12. <laughs> you got 12 bits right there. I guess I could have said two, four, six, eight. Anyway, you got 12 bits and you've got two extras right there. But everything's captured in here really nice does not fall out. You've got Torx bits, you got standards, you got Phillips, you got Allens. You just push them down, pull it out. Yeehaw. Right here on the end, you've got your little hole you put it in that has a magnet, will not fall out. But what if you need to go a little further than that? Oh, don't fret. We've got an extension right here. Slides out. Now we've got an extension. Put that in, ba bam Now you got an extension. All goes back together, drops in. It's got magnets that hold everything together. Pop that bad boy back in. Nothing's coming out. Put it back in your holster. Snaps in, it's not gonna come out. Tool, toolbox in your hand right there, yeehaw. That's the Tactica M250. What are you doing? You know what the cool part is? None of the bits fell out. They all stayed in it, even though you dropped it on concrete. Please, please don't take off the holes. Boom! Okay, great. That display. That's, that's much better. <laughs> so now it's time for the Pro Box. In the Pro Box, I've also got a product that I did a test video on that works really well. If you need to keep a battery charged and forget about it, this right here is the product for you. It is the Nature Power. 8 watt semi flex solar panel. Right there, a solar panel. This thing right here is really cool. It's mono crystalline. So I'm not an aficionado on solar panels, but from what I understand, with the mono crystalline ones, some solar panels, when shade gets on it, it'll kill that whole panel. Uh, with mono crystalline, that doesn't happen. It only kills one, one group of cells. It doesn't take the whole panel out. If you are a solar panel aficionado, you can correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. But monocrystalline, uh, maximum system voltage is 500 volts, 445 milliamps. The Pmax voltage is 18 volts, maximum power of 8 watts, and the short circuit um, current is 515 milliamps. What's really cool about this is you don't need a charge controller to run this. A lot of solar panels, you have to have a charge controller that cleans up that electricity or that, that current going into your battery so that you don't damage your batteries. This one, you don't need that. It's all built in. And then you've got your alligator clips here that you just hook onto your battery. And then you can set this out in the sun. So great for if you're doing, um, if you like to do a remote ham radio and you're running a small battery to run a radio, you can set this up um, so that you can continually charge to your batteries as you're running your radio. A lot of people are doing that and it kind of helps them get prepared for emergency situations um, in their communications. So this is a great thing to add to your communications kit. A great thing if you have a boat, um, small, large boat, it doesn't matter, that sits out. You can keep this plugged in at all times. It basically, basically trickle charge. This isn't going to 
charge a dead battery you know, in two hours or something like that. This is designed for maintenance charge, trickle charging, and things like that. So it's great for four wheelers, great for boats, great for a vehicle that you may not use a lot. It just sits outside. You can plug this to your battery, set this on the hood. It's got these grommets here. You can tie it down if you need to. You can get suction cups. You can stick it to the hood of the car. You can stick it to a window. It is semi-flexible, so it can contort a little bit to whatever you're using it for. But a really great solar panel right here for you to maintain your battery's charge. And uh, I really dig it. It, it's, it does really well. I did some testing on it. It does what it's designed to do. And it's small, compact, easy to use. So that is your advanced. I'm sorry. Freaking hot in here. <laughs> Where'd it go? That is your pro item. That's your advanced item. <laughs> So now it's time for the Pro Plus box right here. So this month in the Pro Plus, we've got the Leatherman. Yes, the boss hog of the multi-tool complete family. When you think about multi-tool, typically the first thing that pops into people's heads is the brand Leatherman, right? Pow! It's the Skeletool. It's upside down. It's the Skeletool. <laughs> Leatherman's been around for ages, right? Like I said, when people think about a multi-tool, they think Leatherman, to the point where it's kind of like, even if it's not a Leatherman, people call them Leathermans. Designs are th all over the place. There's tons of different Leatherman designs. This one here is called the Skeletool. So as you can see, it's got a really cool design to it. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of steampunkish in a way. I mean, it's, you know, it kind of shows the mechanics of it. There's nothing really being hidden or anything. There's lots of things in here that's done to it to minimize weight. Um, it does have a little carabiner here so that you can clip that onto something if you want. Also, it is a bottle opener, of course. You've got to put a bottle opener on it. It does have a pocket clip, so you can carry this in your pocket, and it is removable if you want to take that off. We've got a combo blade here that locks back, so it's got serrations and regular you know, knife blade there. It locks back kind of like a liner lock, so you've got a lock right here you can close that off so it does lock which is really good locking blades are a plus folks <laughs> be careful with it it is sharp of course we've got the typical leatherman op opening and needle nose pliers with little wire cutters there what's really cool about this in my opinion is how uh, how spread apart it is and with this angle how this kind of swoops down, you get a ton of bite force with this. This 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 cat right here, you know, some uh, multi tools you can't really squeeze down on them very hard because even in this fully open position, there's not a lot of space here. They're pretty close together. This guy right here, if you really need to grab a hold of something, you can put a lot of force into this Leatherman right here, due to how it's kind of swooped down like that, and there's plenty of space. This also has a bit area right here that is lockable, so I can't pull that out. But you've got some standard bits here. You push this down, you can remove that. So you got a small and a large. And then there's a Phillips kind of hidden in here in the framing right there. So you push that up. They got a little area right there so you can get your finger in there. Push that up, exposes your other bit. You can put your standard in there. Now we've got Phillips. That's pretty freaking cool. And it's locked in, so you don't have to take that out. You can fold this back up, put this one back in. I can find where it went. There it goes. Drop this one in. There's my spare bit. Fold it up, everything's like even, you don't have to worry about your bit poking out or anything and snagging anything because it is hidden into the framing right there, which is really cool. So bits, pliers, serrat serrations on your blade here along with normal, um, normal grind right there. And serrations are really good for cutting rope, cordage, seat belts, things like that if you need to. And it locking back 
makes it safe. All about some safe. Yeehaw. So that is your plow plus the Leatherman Skeletal. Leatherman's awesome, man. Leatherman's got me out of a pinch many, many times growing up. My dad always kept a Leatherman on him, and it saved the day quite a few times. As I was saying before about T-shirts, I just want to put this out there. If you, if you read the booklet, the pamphlet, whatever you guys want me to call this thing, on the back, there's a thing about how to win a free T-shirt. So I didn't want to tell you this before because it give away a couple products. So if you read this, it says, win a free T-shirt. Hashtag battle box a photo using the fire starter or show off your creative uses for the bushcraft wallet. We'll pick a winner and you can take your pick of any kind of t-shirt we've got on the website. Southern Survival t-shirt, battle box t-shirt, whichever. So show us some creative uses using the spice wallet. Hashtag us in the post, Instagram, Facebook, yada, yada, yada and we'll pick a winner. Post some pictures using the fire starter. Hashtag battle box, B-A-T-T-L-B-O-X, no E. We'll pick a winner and you can win a free t-shirt. In the meantime, you can go to the website and buy one. <laughs> so that's mission 66, folks, of battle box. So we've got, uh, we've got the Colby valve here, a really cool way to fix your tire if you bust your valve off when you're off-roading right there. Really, really cool piece of kit. We've got the spice wallet right here that you can use for pretty much anything, again, down in the comments below, um, tell me what you would use that for outside of spices, and you can take a picture of that and tag us, and then you might win a t-shirt, yeehaw. We've got the um, Southern Survival little fire starter right there. That was a freebie that we just want everybody to have. Great thing to keep in your pocket, doesn't take up any space, and you've got a way to start fire if need be. We've got the Tactica M250 right here. Toolbox in your hand, really cool kit right there. Everything's self-contained, uh, really good magnets that keeps everything in check, and it's a great thing to add to your EDC. We've got the solar panel right here. This thing right here is really cool. If you're like me, you know, like I've got four wheelers, I've got you know lawnmower that I don't use, but you know, a few months out of the year, I can keep this on my battery. Everything's good to go. And if you're doing, um, you know, remote communications you can use this to help keep a charge in your battery for your ham radio equipment or whatever it is that you're using for communications really cool piece of kit right there as well and of course we can't forget the big dog right there the Leatherman Skeletal Leatherman's the top dog in the game they know what they're doing and that is an awesome design of their Leatherman multi-tool right there so that's mission 66 yeehaw oh I forgot about the simple strap how can I forget? This is probably arguably be my favorite one in the whole freaking box right here. It's a simple strap. I can't forget. I can't, I can't believe I forgot about the simple strap. Oh my God. The simple strap. This thing right here is going to change your life, folks. I promise you. Use it all the time. Great thing. Cut you a piece off. Put it in different packs. Keep some in your vehicle. Keep some in your four wheeler. Keep some in your deemer box if you got a deemer box. So you can strap that rascal down to anything and listen to your tunes. That thing right there is sweet right there. You're going to want to buy more, I promise you. So that is Mission 66 Battle Box, folks. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Please check us out at www.battlebox.com. Be sure to like and comment down below in this video. Hit the bell icon if you haven't already, and subscribe to the channel. Yeehaw. And I'll see you next month with Mission 67, which I will say... It's going to be pretty freaking B.A., if you know what I mean. <laughs> I, I got to say congratulations. You have officially transitioned in this video from things such as that to yada, yada, yada. <laughs> <laughs> I did say yada, yada, yada quite a bit, didn't I? <laughs> didn't to be sure, I threw one thing such as that in there. Really? I went through a video without saying things such as that at all?